Hey, Run Junkies, welcome to Runners Without Limits TV. And I need to ask a for a favor. Can we please stop recommending a single equation to determine a training metric? I'm talking about using the 220 minus your age to figure out what your maximum heart rate from which you would set all of your heart rate zones. But this equation and others like it are useless for training by heart rate. And I'm going to tell you why and challenge you to do better for the athletic community. You see it everywhere, on every cardio machine at the gym, social media recommendations, and even the American Heart Association starts with 220 minus your age to come up with maximum heart rate. Meaning the fastest your heart can physically beat before, I don't know, something bad happens, I guess. The problem is this equation was extrapolated in 1970 by two doctors who were using a very small sample, which was mostly made up of cardiac patients. They drew a median line through the data and to quote Joe Beer from Bike Radar, whose article I'm leaving in the description, it wasn't a scientific formula. It was a bad guess. The scientific method was not used in this scenario, and yet we treat it like it's irrefutable fact. Check out the links I'm leaving in the description, because I'm not gonna go into the science and the stats here. I'm just saying that even though this equation has been debunked by doctors and fitness professionals for years, somehow it persists. I saw it just last week as a recommendation on Facebook. If you were to apply the scientific method to this equation and others like it, it isn't repeatable to the point where this formula should be considered fact. Therefore, it's not science, it's mythology. Let me give you an example. Now I've been running by heart rate now for several years and I can tell you that for me at age 47 and using this 220 minus age metric, my maximum heart rate would be 173 beats per minute. I recently did a 10 mile race, most of which I ran with a heart rate of over 180 beats per minute. So if 220 minus your age is true, then what does that mean? Shouldn't I be dead? Why didn't my heart explode or something? It means that this is only one of many, many, many instances where this equation just doesn't work because it only takes an in, in, into consideration one variable and that's your age. In fact, maximum heart rate isn't even what we should be calling it. Rather, we should be calling it lactate threshold heart rate when it comes to effort and exercise. Guys, that's a whole separate video. I'm not gonna discuss that here. The thing is that age is not the only variable we need to consider and certainly not the most important. Yes, as we age, our maximum heart rate may decrease, but it isn't linear. Our maximum heart rate doesn't drop one beat on our birthday. But gender, overall fitness, diet, hormones, and a host of other genetic factors go into determining your maximum heart rate, making age almost completely irrelevant in the grand scheme of things. Using this formula as a scientific law would be like a running shoe store carrying one brand and one model of shoe in one size. Here you go, no need to try this on. This is what we have, trust us. This works for everybody. Have fun. Is that ridiculous or is it just me? That's what 220 minus your age really is. So what makes each of us unique and special is exactly the reason why a single equation doesn't work for all of us, or even most of us. The best way to determine your maximum heart rate or lactate threshold heart rate is for a doctor to administer a stress test. This is basically putting you on a treadmill and running you as hard as you can in a controlled environment under doctor supervision. I would encourage you to ask your doctor at your next visit what it takes to participate in such a supervised stress test. Couldn't hurt to ask. Not all of us can do that though. We can get really close by doing something called a lactate threshold test. And I highly recommend this video right here from the new guy, Dan, over at The Run Experience. He's amazing. Uh, it's a fantastic and short explanation of how to determine your heart rate zones based on a lactate threshold test. He doesn't mention age as a variable even once. That is how you determine your heart rate and effort levels. It's not an equation. It's not a formula. It's as individual as you are. So if you want to train by heart rate, that's where you start. I feel as a running coach and athlete that athletes of all types and particularly the novices who don't even know where to start are being misled by these one size fits all formulas. I want us to stop believing this myth and call out the fitness industry for perpetuating this misinformation. 
Don't take my word for it, but check out the articles in the description. And no, those aren't the scientific papers, but the guys, the, the folks that wrote these articles have done the research. I'm just here to pass on the information. My challenge to you is this, even if you don't care about training by heart rate, I would ask that you help educate your fellow athletes. We don't have to believe this. There are better ways to own your journey and to support your tribe. Share this video or the resources in the description with those that perpetuate this information. We can do better and we should do better. Okay, I'm glad I got that off my chest. Look, I know I got a little preachy here on this one. I apologize, but I feel better. <laughs> so I'm sure I'll get hate comments and that's fine. Let me know what you think in the comments. Please like and subscribe and tell your friends. Thanks for watching. Remember you have no limits and happy running.